How do I maintain my snap-on denture? That's a question we get quite often. People wanna know, how often am I gonna to have to maintain my snap-on denture? And what's it gonna cost me to maintain my snap-on denture? Well, I'm Nick Hanson. Today, we're gonna to get to the point on maintaining snap-on dentures. All right, today I brought in a guest, Dr. Vu. He's gonna help me talk to you guys today a little bit about the maintenance that goes with snap-on dentures. So to start things out, let's talk a little bit about the different things that we have to do to maintain snap-on dentures. And you mentioned there's about two things that are periodically gonna to have to be maintained. What are those two things? One is the retention of your snap-on denture, how strong is snap-on to? And usually for most patients, they'll have that replaced every six to eight months. Uh, the other aspect is, as you wear and tear um, your bone foundation over time, you'll lose some of that bones. As you lose bone, your denture will be looser and you need a reline to fill in that space. And usually most patients will do that every two years or so. Okay, so just to kind of recap, so the, the snap-on denture is going to have retention. There's a little plastic insert, which we'll, you're going to show everybody here in a little bit about that, that insert. And then every now and then, every few years, you're gonna to have to reline it because the bone's gonna shrink. But talk a little bit about how we're gonna lose bone because we've got implants and everybody knows when you got implants in that stimulates blood flow, keeps that bone alive. So why are they gonna lose bone and why do they have to get that reline? So when you have dental implants that are spaced out between um, a certain distance, you start to lose bone because you don't have enough stimulation from the use of those implants. So you will always have bone around those implants. It's the spacing between the implants what you're going to continue to lose bone over time. So those plastic inserts, what is the average cost to replace those inserts with a provider? On average, minimums range between like $40, $50, all the way up to um, $100, depending on the type of insert. Wow. So a patient's going to spend anywhere from, you said $40, $50, so let's say four implants, that's $200, mm -hmm. all the way up to $100, which would be $400 per denture every six to eight months. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. It is. So if the patient keeps doing this for many years to come, they're gonna be at a cost of an all-on four if they're coming into a provider to do all this maintenance on a snap-on denture. Now this, this might be a crazy question, but I've been looking online and I found on Amazon, there's the tools for the patients to be able to go on and buy the tools so that they can replace these inserts themselves. So tell me a little bit about how difficult that is for the patient and a little bit about if they should do that. So where there's a will, there's a way. And yes, if you look hard enough, you can definitely find these two for you to do at home. It's very simple to, to snap them in and now at home. But keep in mind that when you see a provider to change out this insert, not only do they do that service for you, but they also check your implant, check your gum, check your oral hygiene, and make sure you are keeping a good oral hygiene at home to keep out your gum and your implant healthy. Gotcha. And I'll, and I'll provide a little link down below with how you can buy those on Amazon, or there's probably different, many different providers that have these tools but uh, we wanna show you a little bit today on how to change out those inserts. So Dr. Vu has brought in the tools to show you how to pop those in and out. All right, we have the tools to show everybody how to change out these inserts. So let's go ahead and show everybody how to change out the inserts. So usually you'll start out with a denture with the lowest retentions. And if you wanna change that insert because this is too light or you wear and tear, that's where there's no more retentive, then use the opposite side to remove that insert, O insert. You put your new insert in on the opposite side and you just snap it in place. You want to make sure that you snap straight in and not angulate it so that way you don't damage the housing. And what happens if that metal housing goes bad? Okay. Typically, unless you're fractured your denture, your housing would not go damaged. It's the insert what's going to wear and tear as you function over time. So they're pretty small. Can I actually, can I hold one and see how small they are? All right, let's see. Wow. But with that tool, it shouldn't be too hard to snap it into place once you get it on that tool. But wow, I, can, I can't even hold it in between. Oh, there we go. That is tiny, isn't it? So tell me what it looks like when you buy this on Amazon or from a dental provider. If you're to do this at home, what, is it, what does it look like? So typically, 
this is what a tube will come in. Everything you see here plus the housing, the metal housing. You can also buy a tube, which is one particular set of retentions. Here, this one comes with three different types of retention, 1.5 pounds, three pounds, and five pound total. So this is a complete starter set. Once you know which is the best retention for you, you can buy a replacement with just that particular retention. And how would you decide what the retention is that you're gonna use? Okay. It's all about trial and error. So if you start out with four implants, a lot of times you start out with the lowest retention first, so that way you can remove it in and out. As you wear and tear over time, and you know that you go through the retention of 1.5 a lot faster, or it doesn't stay in very, or it doesn't snap on very well, and you can increase that retention to the three pounds and then the five pound. So good rule with them is the more implant you have, the less retention you want to use. The more arm strength you have to remove the snap on denture, the more retention you can use. Okay, and I can see, man, as you age, this would be hard to handle. You might want to get Somebody, because man, that is small. <laughs> yes, the, the older you get, the, the less retention you want to use. And also you do want someone else to do this for you. I suppose the men are snapping in and out for you. So as we age, why would we want less retention? Because as you age, a lot of times you lose arm strength or hand strength where you can't really get enough engaged to pop these dentures out. Okay, so as we age, we just kind of come down on retention so it's easier to pull it out of our mouth. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thanks for visiting with me today. I hope everybody found this very useful to learn how to maintain their snap-on dentures. I'm Nick Hansen. Today, we got to the point on maintaining your snap-on dentures.